Over many seasons and across continents throughout my travels, I have accrued a plethora of hobbies and interests. This exploration led me to collecting books concerning these interests and hobbies, and eventually the book collecting became a hobby in itself. Now, when I travel, I'm always looking for the next book to occupy my leisurely time before I sleep. As luck would have it, many years ago, I stumbled across one of the original manuscripts of a very old book written by a man named Thomas More, and I was lucky enough to take it home with me to my library. Today, it's one of the most valuable books in my library, but to me, it's priceless. In this Latin book written from the year 1516, the term Utopia, the title of the book, was first coined. As the description of the book goes, bear with me now, Libellis via aureus, nec minus salutaris quam festivus, the optimo republica statue decu nova insula utopia. <coughs> okay. Well, clearly my Latin is a bit rusty, but what that roughly translates to is a little true book, no less beneficial than enjoyable, about how things should be in a state and about the new island Utopia. Readers at the time most likely understood the newly made up word Utopia right off the biscuit. The ancient Greek words you, spelled ou, and topos mean no place, but they also sound like you, spelled eu, and topos which means good place, so more defines this utopia as a good place, albeit an impossible one. And isn't that the truest thing you'll hear this week? That in this fallen world, a perfect place seems just unattainable. But as we also know, whatever is deemed impossible, rest assured that mankind will one day strive to achieve it and make it possible indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the hour of striving for utopia has long been upon us, and the next group of eager homo sapiens looking to achieve this impossible feat has caught my eye in particular because they're doing it in style and luxury. This place is called Neom, a $500 billion super city in planning. Saudi Arabian officials have described it as the world's most ambitious project. This Neom is fated to be a 16-borough city on the Red Sea coast in the northwestern Saudi province of Tabuk. In this video, you'll see the vision of Neom as a bold and audacious dream. The men and women behind this outrageous idea claim it is a vision of what a new future might look like. In fact, Neom literally translates to new future. The idea and goal of Neom is clear, but if it truly is the most ambitious project in the world, can it truly be pulled off? Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman told Bloomberg in October 2018 that Neom will be completed in 2025, and that Phase 1 is nearing completion. That name may ring a bell to some of you Mr. Luxury fans, as he is no stranger to the luxury lifestyle. Prince Mohammed bin Salman is known for his lavish spending. He has bought a $500 million yacht, a $300 million French chateau, and a $450 million dollar Leonardo da Vinci painting. According to one estimate, the Saudi royal family and its about 15,000 members, of which Mohammed bin Salman is the head of, is worth up to 1.4 trillion dollars. The crown prince has even gone as far to say that Neom will eventually be home to flying cars, robot maids, mechanical dinosaurs, and even an artificial moon. On January 29th, 2019, Saudi Arabia has announced setting up a closed joint stock company named Neom with $500 billion. The aim of this company that is wholly owned by Public Investment Fund is to develop the economic zone of Neom. The project is planned to be totally powered by renewable energy sources. Nadmi Al Nasir is the CEO of Neom Joint Stock Company, and he and his team have made it a primary goal to have Neom be an example of a clean and renewable city of the future. Neom states that it will introduce a new model for urban sustainability and be a place that is focused on setting new standards for community health, environmental protection, and the effective and productive use of technology. It is being designed, constructed, and independently administered in a way that is freed from the outdated economic and environmental infrastructure that constrains other countries. The location of this future city makes this aspiration certainly an attainment 
sustainable one. Neom is strategically located on one of the world's most prominent economic intersections. This position on the globe will make Neom a prime location for trade, innovation, and knowledge. Thanks to its proximity to India and Europe, 40% of the world's population will be able to reach Neom in less than four hours. But Neom's location is not just advantageous because of its place of the map, but also due to its geography. The site of Neom is a spectacular. The grounds for this new city is home to diverse terrain, sheltered by mountains and cooled by Red Sea breezes. A temperate Mediterranean climate means that without much rainfall, the city will be considerably cooler than most of the Middle East's blistering temperatures. Neom will also host more than 280 miles of coastline with beaches and coral reefs, as well as mountains with peaks of up to 8,000 feet above sea level. This means that whatever climate-specific activity you want to take part in, Neom will be able to make it happen. Neom describes that this ambitious project is an attempt to do something that's never been done before, and it comes at a time when the world needs fresh thinking and new solutions. The idea that Neom will be a living laboratory, a place where entrepreneurship and innovation will chart the course for this new future, is what is fueling this pursuit and backing all of the billions of dollars being invested. Neom will include towns and cities, ports and enterprise zones, research centers, sports and entertainment venues, and tourist destinations. Currently, it's estimated that Neom will be home to a little over one million residents. And based on the wealth and anticipation of this city, the occupants of Neom will be a diverse group from anywhere in the world that is home to deep pockets. This vision of His Royal Highness Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and Saudi Arabia is a centerpiece of their 2030 vision plan to grow and diversify the Saudi economy and position the country to play a leading role in global development. Neom is an integral part of Saudi Arabia's aspiration to be a world superpower. While the city is being driven and initially funded by Saudi Arabia, it is an international project that will be led, populated, and funded by people all over the world. Over the years, the Saudis have made many friends from all over the place thanks to their oil reserves. The selling and trading of this black gold is the most significant aspect of the Saudi economy, historically speaking, and much of the country's power on the global stage is because of the abundance of this natural resource. Saudi Aramco, the country's oil titan, is the world's most profitable company. Last year alone, Saudi Aramco pulled in over $111 billion in net income. For some perspective, ExxonMobil, the United States' most profitable oil company, made $20.8 billion in net profit. Even Apple only made around $60 billion in profit. But as with any major story and planet-altering plan, the anticipation of Neom has not been absent of controversy. In early 2020, it was announced that Neom signed on as the main partner for the summer season of the League of Legends European Championship. League of Legends is the world's most watched eSport. As you can imagine, this partnership was a rather big deal and was bought out with a rather pretty penny. But the partnership did not last long. Just months after the announcement, League of Legends developer Riot Games cancelled the sponsorship partnership with Neom. This cancellation followed a backlash from fans and participating players. So what were these complaints from the League of Legends fanbase? Is the Crown Prince more of a Dota 2 player? Well, unfortunately, the reason is not so humorous. It has been gathered that authorities of Saudi Arabia are forcibly removing and reportedly killing Huwaiti tribe members to clear the way for the city's construction. To some historians in the audience, these reports may not come as a shock. It is believed the League of Legends partnership was an attempt by both Neom and Saudi Arabia to improve its reputation. This strategy is often scoped out, and it is known as sports washing. This controversy is certainly a massive stumbling block for the Neom project. But keep in mind, the very reason the project was started in the first place was to turn Saudi Arabia from an oil giant with a less than desirable track record to a global leader in technology and innovation. The $500 billion city could certainly be an opportunity to redeem the country's iniquities and mark a change in not just the country, but the world.
So, what do you think of this fascinating plan of Neom? Do you think, like many outrageous ideas, the dream will fade? Or is the country of Saudi Arabia the perfect one to follow through on such a plan? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and turn on post notifications, of course. And as always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip-pip to doodly-doo.